Here we're back with our RPM, and this time I've added over here from the output to ground a 100 ohm load, which doesn't sound like much, but it's enough load that for this particular off amp and the way I'm using it right now, it's actually causing my output to oscillate. If I turn my input signal down a little bit, up, oscillation goes a good way, but as I crank it up, and the thing tries to drive into that 100 ohm load, it's oscillating. Now, one way you can solve this oscillation problem is to fix the problem we have here with all these wires for the power supply. These long wires for the power supply have a lot of inductance. And that inductance doesn't like to have a current sort of change. And so when fast current changes occur, like the current required to drive the 100 ohm load, as the output ramps up in the swap amp and the feedback circuit tries to correct compensate for errors in the output, the power supply will actually collapse. And to prevent the power supply collapsing, we can take this one microfarad tantalum capacitor. And we have to be careful here. I have a low power supply voltage here, plus or minus 5 volts. Earlier I tried plus or minus 15 volts and blew up several tantalum capacitors. So you've got to watch their rating. So I put this tantalum capacitor on, and if we look up here, there's on, there's off, on, off, on. So putting it back, putting it on, I'm suppressing the oscillation by making the power supply not collapse. This is called decoupling. And a decoupling capacitor needs to be really close. See how that's really close? Because the closer it is, the shorter, lower the inductance in the leads, and it's the inductance in the power supply leads that the decoupling capacitor is solving the problem for. So this lets us drive a 100 ohm load. Now, 